Who doesn't love a belly full of rodent? See that owl there? Probably not focusing on it right now. There, there's the owl right there. Oop, there he goes. Okay, I gotta go try and keep up. I was gonna tell you what I was doing there with exposure and stuff, but I gotta go catch up with the owl. It's hard to walk with all this stuff with my big tripod and the little tripod with the video camera. Okay, I see the owl though. So, now I can see the owl. The owl's over here in the shade, not in a great photographic location. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna wait for it to move around. It seems to be hunting tonight, which is perfect. Where it was on that last perch, the owl was backlit and I was getting a real nice rim light around it. Uh, and with a nice dark background. I, I lined myself up so I had a nice dark background and then that owl glowing. And uh, so I needed to underexpose that by 2.3 stops to keep everything dark and have that beautiful glowing contrasty outline. So I'm kind of, it's a real tricky exposure situation in here because it's shade, bright light, shade, bright light as it's flying through the trees and stuff. So I'm going to be exposing, I'm going to be shooting in manual mode here, way underexposed for the scene because I want the, sh the shot I really am envisioning in my head and want is the one where it's got dramatic light on the bird and the forest and everything is nice and dark. So I'm going to be looking for opportunities where it's flying through these little shafts of light and uh, so I want to make sure I'm exposed for that light. Um, so everything is going to be really dark with this really bright bird. So that's what I'm hoping for right now. And uh, it looks great. The light is perfect. Everything's good. I've got a great gray owl here that's hunting. So, you know, a, a, lot, of, a lot of great things are set up here. So now I just got to wait, be patient, and hope that the owl cooperates and that I don't screw it up. But this is awesome. Glad I found an owl tonight. Okay, I'm locked in here on exposure. I'm at F5, two thousandth of a second, ISO 1600. So I'm setting up, waiting for when this bird hopefully flies and comes off this perch. It's in the shade. It's totally dark. Uh, but it's going to be coming, if it comes this way at all, it's going to come into uh, some bright light. So I want to be set up for that bright light when the bird flies into it that I don't totally blow that out. So if it stays in the shade, my exposure is like totally black. But I'm setting up for that nice um, shaft of light that the bird will hopefully fly through. Any minute. Maybe. Okay, bummer. The owl flew in the one exact spot where it could stay in the shade the whole time. So, no photograph out of that one. Now I gotta try and keep up again. That was nice. 
The owl was unsuccessful on that hunt. She flew down into the grass, didn't catch anything, and then flew back up to her perch here. Okay, she just flew again. I'll go try and keep up. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars, or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars, under the stars. Okay, some more good flight shots there. And now the bird went about 80 yards that way. Try and keep up. All right, I'm waiting for the owl again. Uh, it's perched up right now. And kind of the, the theme of the night here is looking for interesting stuff. So flight shots are interesting, interesting light, interesting perch, interesting background, interesting gesture. Right now, none of those are happening, but certainly some of those have happened tonight, and it's awesome when that happens, but um, kind of a combination. You put any of those two together, and you're in really good shape. If you have interesting light and an interesting gesture, boom, you're good. Uh, if you have a flight shot and interesting light, boom, you're great. So... Well, that's kind of what I'm looking for out here. Oh, here goes the bird. There she goes up high. So with that, I didn't really get to finish my thought there, but I'm sure someday I will finish it. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, super great night. And um, really thankful for the bird for... Um, being able to catch all those gophers. The bird caught three gophers. Now she's just hanging out up there, probably digesting. But um, yeah, great night. Thanks to her, a beautiful night. The light was wonderful. Everything came together tonight. So one of those rare days and uh, super appreciative that I got another one of those. So thanks again for watching and I uh, appreciate you watching. So have a great night. See you next time.